If you looked at the market cap of Fortune 500 companies in 1980, you would have found that only 20% of the value could be explained by intangible assets. Fast forward 10 years to the year 2000, and just the opposite was found. Now, what does that mean? It means knowledge. You know, that you look at a company like IBM, they used to sell computers. Today they sell solutions because in this knowledge economy, strategy is executed from the bottom of the organization. It's the truck drivers at UPS, it's the call center operators, it's the consultants at IBM. These are the people who interface with the customer and if they don't understand what the new strategy is, you have no chance of uh, executing it. Before, the measurement systems were all about finance and people's focus was on financial performance, cost and revenue. Today, we have a balanced approach. The balanced scorecard started with an article in the Harvard Business Review 20 years ago. One of our first users was Mobile Oil North America. They were last in the industry in profitability. They introduced a new strategy. They used the balanced scorecard to describe that strategy and tied it to their management system. Within two years, they had moved from last in the industry to first. The balanced scorecard it's used all around the world. And Steel in China, Infosys in India, Volkswagen of Brazil, Duke Children's Hospital, Sick Children's of Toronto. The CEO of one of these organizations, you know, came up to me once uh, at a conference and said, I don't know if you realize what this idea really does in organizations, but in our organizations, it cures children. You can make money and that's the job of organizations, but curing children, eliminating disease, educating young kids, that's a big deal. And that's what I, I get excited about.